It's not about picking stocks. It's about picking the right portfolio. And we've had a lot of fun refining this exhibit. So the red areas are where you're in drawdown. This is the S&P 500 since, um, well, the data specific inception is 1928. You can get data going back to 1925. And so you can see how frequently you're in drawdown, which kind of makes sense. Like, how often are we actually at an all-time high? And the green are the epochs in which um, you're above. You're, you're, you're above that line. You're, you're adding to the, the prior all-time high is the way it's defined. The key point is to look at the circles, which are the best and the worst days. Again, we've looked at this before. But I think, Keith, this is one of the many respects in which we can really help long-term allocators give them the data that they need to make informed choices. So against this background, where I see both the best and the worst days for the S&P being in bear markets, what it screams to me is don't have a non-zero minimum allocation to any risky asset. But I understand fully why you need to institutionally and bureaucratically. But it's, it's important to make that decision, however lamentable I think it might be against the background where you have the empirical facts and you're not just saying, oh, you know, you, you can't time the market. You need to be in the market at all times in order to get those infrequent uplifts. Well, that's actually not true. They all come within bear markets. Um, that leads me, Keith, again, I'm keeping a careful eye on the clock. You said we could go over. Um, I want to just talk very what? briefly. Sorry, go ahead. No, what a chart. I mean, that's that uh, talk about redefining risk management. I mean, if for the amount, I mean, we would be gazillionaires for the amount of times you and I have read, you got to be in the market, therefore. <laughs> I mean, the, what you, what you got to be is not in drawdown, is what that says. And that's, again, let everybody else on Wall Street sell you the permable. I mean, we need to help you preserve and protect against the, the red bars. And that is, and we will compound returns. And the only way that you can do that is if you avoid those red bars. So again, Avoid the drawdowns. We're gonna. It's, it's gonna take some time, but we're gonna change, uh, change the, the language and change the marketing of it all. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation, or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.